Hi, I'm Ben with Phoenix Products Company. I'm out here on the Mississippi River tonight along with St. James Steve Doring Partners in order to talk to you about some of the advantages of converting to Phoenix LED flood lighting. St. James operates 10 cranes here on the Mississippi, handling between 13 and 15 million tons of dry bulk annually, including coal and fertilizer. St. James started by converting one crane to LED and has since converted a total of four cranes. Some of the advantages that they have found was higher light levels on the deck, higher light levels while working, more visibility of the people working on the deck for safety purposes, and also less shadows. We sat down with Paul Morton, CEO of St. James Steve Doring Partners, to discuss this further. St. James Steve Doring is a midstream Steve Doring operation located on the lower Mississippi River in Convent, Louisiana. And one of the things that we think uh, separate St. James Steve Doring from the marketplace is our uh, constant striving for doing what we do better. Probably one of the more recent uh, efforts that we've made in this area was the movement to uh, replacing our lighting on the cranes with LED lights from Phoenix products. From my perspective, the LED lights are really um, a, a great new uh, step for St. James um, because it touches on a couple of different um, core values that we have. First of all, in the area of safety, um, the, the existing lights that we have been using take a long time to power up. We, uh, our work site is a very dynamic work site. We're in the middle of the river. Um, at high river, we can have currents up to eight knots. And um, the fact that our lights may take 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes to fully power means that we don't have adequate lights if, if someone were to fall in the river, for example. Well, we wanted to see improved safety on the deck of our cranes. By having better light, that enabled us to have a safer work environment for our employees. Oh yes, I can see my guys a whole a whole lot better. The all reflectors on the all light vest shine, shines brighter. Our primary reason for shutting down the cranes during idle moments is to preserve fuel and to reduce our fuel cost. Uh, one of the benefits that we discovered with the LED lights is the instant on features. So we've now removed this conflict that existed in the, in the workplace. We can maintain our high levels of safety, we can maintain our high levels of fuel efficiency, and all through the, the, the use of the LED lights. Well, we no longer have a 20 minute wait for our lights to come on on the deck. That allows us to immediately go to work anytime we arrive to the cranes. Oh, it has way, way, way a whole lot better because I don't have to sit and wait 20 minutes for the lights to come back on. As soon as you kill a crane or crank the crane back up, the lights come on instantly. We were in a little bit of a different situation because we produce our own electricity through generators and really we're not in a position to reap the benefits of lower energy burn between the LED lights and the conventional lighting. But what did convince us that we could get a return on the investment is the ability to conserve fuel by powering down the generators when we were not in an operating mode and having the, the lights return to an instant on safe position for us. We found that we have a greater light output with the LEDs versus the old mercury vapor style bulbs. We don't have nearly the amount of shadows on the deck. The employees are able to see much better gives our crane operators much better visibility for the men down below them. We're only in the beginning stages of the use of LED lights. We think it's a technology that's coming and we're proud to be part of the initial installation for midstream stevedoring uh, with this effort. 